There are some unique animals in the world, and thus the way life is brought into the world. Eggs are perhaps one of the most well-understood methods of reproduction, but not all eggs are treated equal or even serve the same purpose. From bizarre black yolks to infamous mouth brooders, here are 15 of the most unique eggs in the world. Number 15. Black Yolks Pictures and footage of eggs with black yolks have been reportedly laid by a grey goose and has been making their rounds on social media, leaving some experts scratching their heads and others throwing out the hoax flags. The mysterious media of the black eggs were dropped by a man named Zhu from Hangzhou City in China's Zhejiang province. According to the user, he reported the eggs came from a friend of his who kept many grey geese on his farm and who had gifted him batches of normal goose eggs before. And only this time did they turn out this inky black color. When cracked, the egg yolks revealed a similar egg white, but the typical yellow yolk was a dark gray, almost black one. He went on to explain that save for the color, the egg tasted and smelled just like a normal egg. One expert suggested the answer could lie within the diet of the creature. If the goose ate a lot of black mulberries, known for their high melanin content, this could easily have occurred. Going back to his friend to ask if he had mulberry bushes present around the geese, he confirmed this to be the case. It just goes to show how important a living creature's diet is for the normal operation of any day-to-day -day operation. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly! Number 14. Corkscrew Egg this isn't the type of egg that an Easter Bunny will be leaving for you during a hunt. To find these amazing little displays of nature, you'll instead have to dive deep into rocky reefs or kept forests off the Californian coast. The Californian horn shark leaves these little corkscrew packages on the ground, also referred to as egg cases by experts. While most people have probably never heard of these little sharks, others are fascinated with the way they birth their young. Just like the spikes on the dorsal fins of the shark itself, the screw-like ridge that runs alongside the outside of the egg shells allows the mother to wedge the egg in the crevices of rocks to protect them from harm and keep them from moving. They twist the eggs sort of how the ridges of a screw work, hence their name. For being predators, these sharks are extremely vulnerable. They play a vital role in the ecosystem by keeping populations of fish in check. Sharks mature late in life, and they produce very few young making it difficult in the early stages of a shark's life to survive. This is why it's really important that if you see an egg case, that you don't disturb it. There's a reason a fully grown shark is the biggest and baddest predator in the ocean that we know of. They have a rough life growing up. Number 13. Jawfish When it comes to spawning, the creatures of the ocean are some of the most bizarre. For the jawfish, when the female has done all the work in laying the eggs, the male swoops in and stuffs them all in his mouth for protection. It won't let them out of its mouth again until the babies are ready to pop out. Oftentimes, the fish is father to so many offspring that the eggs are literally bulging from the opening of its mouth. Don't let a predator see this or it'll jump at the chance to eat all those eggs and the fish in one fell swoop. Yellow-headed jawfish, which can be found on coral reefs in the Caribbean, are usually only observed with their heads and upper bodies protruding from the burrows just enough. They every so often hover a short distance from their territory, but typically not long before they dart back into their homes and away from danger. Fish that take care of their young in their mouth like this are called mouth brooders. During this time, he waits for the babies to be born. He can't eat or nourish himself. Once they're born, he spends the next few days trying to make up for food and nourishment he lost out in the development stage. Number 12. Eggs Inside Eggs did you know it was possible for a chicken to lay an egg inside another egg? That's to say that both eggs have yolks and whites, but one is within the other like a Russian stacking doll. These double eggs are bigger in size and are typically kept by the farmer in the sorting process. It just makes it too difficult to give some batches double eggs and others not. Plus, the size makes it that much more of a challenge in keeping them from breaking in transit. The second egg is formed when a second oocyte is released by the ovary before the first egg has completely traveled through the oviduct to be laid. The release of this second oocyte while the first is still in the eggshell creation portion of the process. 
This forces what experts call a counter-peristosis contraction resulting from a premature release of a second oocyte. It forces the first egg in the eggshell gland to reverse course and be pushed back up to the top of the oviduct. Consequently, the first egg is sometimes joined with the oocyte that just released. The second then travels down and has albumin and a shell deposited over it and the first egg together. Number 11. Emu Egg The emu egg is amazing. When compared with a chicken egg, the massive emu egg has a lower proportion of water, a higher proportion of fat, and a similar proportion of protein. The greatest difference between the common chicken egg is the emu yolk variant has a concentration of cholesterol, fatty oleic acid, and palmitic acid. While they come in lower in vitamins A, B1, B2, and B5, zinc and manganese, they rank higher in selenium, magnesium, iodine, and iron departments. The age-old question of which is healthier for you all depends on the vitamins that you specifically need. Many people don't prefer to eat emu eggs because they are considered beautiful and used in many art projects. They come in shades of blue, green, and yellow, just to name a few. Obtaining them is a bit more of a challenge than from their hen counterparts. If chickens were as large as velociraptors, perhaps they wouldn't make it as easy on humans either. By now, farmers have the process nailed down and go do it safely but it's still considerably more dangerous than farming eggs from hens for obvious reasons. Emus are fast, powerful, and extremely aggressive when it comes to protecting their young. Number 10. Kiwi Bird The flightless kiwi is already so unbird-like that many experts have dubbed it an honorary mammal just to avoid the age-old argument of classification. Flightless and nocturnal, the amazing kiwi's feathers evolved to be less feather-like and more fur-like. It considers itself as a member of ratites, the avian order that includes other birds like ostriches, emus, and rheas. Compared to those massive birds, the kiwi is pipsqueak. The largest of the species only get to the size of about a laying hen, while the smallest stay in the realm of guinea fowl. Perhaps the most bizarre element of all is that it lays an egg that can weigh up to a quarter of its own body mass. How it goes about carrying that thing while going about day-to-day -day life is a wonder. Proportionally, this is by far the largest egg of any bird in the world. To help give you an idea of this, try and imagine a chicken laying a one-pound egg, or more targeted like a human giving birth to a four-year-old. Experts say the adaptation is so bizarre that the species is like a magnet for evolutionary biologists. Scientists have determined that the huge egg isn't evolving, but rather a remnant of their ancient selves that is yet to die out in their DNA. It could be in the next 20 years or so when their development changes. Number 9. Suriname Toad The Suriname Toad is a surprise right from the beginning. While motionless in the water, these masters of disguise appear as a leaf or rock, making them extremely difficult to locate for study by experts. Its body is flat, its head is triangular, and its nostrils are at the end of two narrow tubes on its snout, making it also one of the most bizarre-looking creatures as well. The toad's skin is rough and colored a molted brown, tan, or olive to keep in theme of its dead leaf and moss-covered stone camouflage. Unlike other toads, this creature has an extremely unusual way of reproducing. Males call to the females by making a clicking sound underwater. A willing female releases 60 to 100 eggs, and the male fertilizes them and pushes the eggs onto her back, where they stick to her skin. During the next few days, her skin grows up and around the eggs, forming a honeycomb structure of pockets and eventually encloses them completely. After hatching, the young ride on her back for three to four months, continuing to develop under her skin. When ready, the fully formed toadlets push and squirm to loosen the female skin. The pockets on her back open up to reveal the snouts and waving feet of the toadlets. Number 8. Ostrich Egg Ostriches are amazing creatures. They're the largest bird in the world, so it's no surprise that they also lay the largest eggs. Originally native to Africa, you can now find the massive birds on every continent in the world. They belong to a group referred to as ratites, or birds that don't fly. Aside from the ostrich, other birds belonging to this category include the rhea, emu, and aforementioned kiwi, just to name a few. They don't range in color like some of the others, typically staying white, off-white, or brown. Because they're so large, they don't typically lay more than one to two eggs at a time. However, during breeding season, they can lay one or two eggs a week for a few months. 
The eggs themselves average about 6 inches long and 5 inches wide. They typically weigh about 3 pounds and contain about 2 pounds of egg protein, which equates to about 2 dozen chicken eggs. Pretty amazing, right? Number 7. Lightning Whelk Imagine walking down the beach when you stumble across what appears to be some sort of skeleton of an eel. What you've just discovered is indeed a wonder of nature, but not as uncommon as you might suspect. These twirling husks of a thing is the egg casing of a creature called the whelk snail. Whelk is the typical name used to describe a group of larger sea snails, part of the family Boxinidae, which are all predatory marine mollusks with heavy, pointed, spiral shells. The most common types can be found along the U.S. Atlantic coast and the Gulf of Mexico. One of the species found there is called the lightning whelk. The lightning reportedly played a vital role in Native American cultures in the area because their left side opening meant their shell spirals clockwise rather than counter. This is thought to signify light to darkness and birth to death in Native American beliefs, and the shells were commonly used in both daily life and spiritual events. Number 6. Bright Blue Eggs You've probably heard that a robin's eggs are blue, but do you know why? The pigment biliverdin is responsible for the blue tones in the eggs. The color of the eggshell is determined by these pigments as they're deposited in the shell forming process in the shell gland of the robin. This gland is the bird equivalent of a mammal's uterus. The shell is formed just before the egg is laid and wrapped around the precious cargo. Depending on the density of the pigment imbued, the blue coloration can range from bright, bold blue to pale ice blue and every shade you can imagine that lies in between. It typically works in a similar pattern. Smaller eggs, and those laid first, are typically more vividly colored than their larger brothers and sisters, or those laid later in the nesting procedure. Despite what many believe, robin's eggs are not colored for camouflage purposes as are certain breeds of hens. In many cases, color helps camouflage an eggshell from hungry predators that are happy to raid nests for an easy meal. Number 5. Praying Mantis the praying mantis has a complex lifestyle from birth. Their early lives start off with cannibalistic mating practices, vulnerable nymph stages, and long periods of growth that require overwintering. To be fair, it takes a lot for a praying mantis to make it well into adulthood, and it's more frequent that they don't. Finding their egg sacs in your garden should be considered a boon for your landscaping needs. They're great little assistants in this area. They eat just about anything, including each other, and their natural preying on insects like flies, mosquitoes, crickets, and moths make them a safe and natural defense for your home and garden. If you have any sort of pest problem in your gardens, the introduction of praying mantis will often cure it of the pest. Amazing, right? If you see their egg sacs, make sure you nurture them, not destroy them. They live in great symbiotic relationship with humans and should be respected as such. You can find their eggs laid on twigs, stems, walls, fences, and even house siding and eaves. The sacks can be a challenge to identify at first, but with some practice can become easy. The relatively small insect can lay a whopping 300 eggs in one sack. Of course, only about a fifth of the nymphs will survive into adulthood. The ones that do will become powerful predators of the insect world that few dare challenge. Number 4. Octopus Eggs The octopus was already an amazing creature, but the way they lay eggs and hatch takes them to an almost mythical status if they weren't there already. These genius animals are born in a straight up pulled straight from sci-fi story type of way that you need to see to believe. Octopus eggs hatching is a beautiful, bizarre process that almost looks otherworldly and considering they live in the ocean can almost be considered a fact. Perhaps because octopus reproduction takes place in some of the strangest manner on the planet do we get this feeling. Octopus experts reveal that male octopuses have a special arm for reproduction. They insert this arm into a female's oviduct, and in some species, the male even loses the arm, which the female keeps with her until the eggs are laid. The process of laying eggs, caring for them, and their eventual hatching is one of the most labor and time intensive feats in the animal world, including humans. They're amazing and dedicated mothers. When it comes time to hatch, you have to give credit for the babies as well, for they have their work cut out for them to escape the egg sac. Number 3. Soft Shell Eggs 
The older and longer you raise chickens, the higher the chance you'll encounter what's called soft shell issues. It can be caused by numerous factors, but none of them are usually a good sign for the chicken's prolonged life expectancy. Many times, they're nothing more than a hiccup in production, but other times could mean the loss of an entire flock of birds. Farmers are right to be worried whenever any of the symptoms arise in their stock. These eggs feel more like water balloons than eggs. Anything from lack of calcium to full-blown bird disease could be the cause for such issues and must be investigated by the owners in order to ensure the safety of the bird and the others in the flock. The last thing a breeder wants is a whole litter of chicken wiped out in the process. Sometimes the hens are just under a tremendous amount of stress. While the reasons can be numerous, they often need human hands to be resolved or suffer the consequences. Number 2. Monarch Butterfly Monarch butterfly are stunning creatures that can't be easily overlooked. Their bright and bold colors catch the eye and demand your attention. However, these brilliant and stunning creatures don't start off with such a brilliant display of colors on hand, but a tiny egg on leaf. This unimpressive beginning is the start to something wonderful, so long as they can endure the hardships that lie ahead of them. One way to identify their eggs is by their color. The monarch's eggs are off-white and shaped in an oval about a millimeter in diameter. An up-close and personal inspection of the eggs would reveal hundreds of tiny vertical ridges running along its surface. Their tiny size means you have to be really careful while scouring plants for their existence. If you know of any fields filled with milkweed, that would be a great place to start looking as they love laying eggs on that plant. Just make sure you look on the underside of the leaves or you might just miss them. They hang the eggs on the underside to offer some protection from flying overhead birds and other predators looking for an easy egg snack. Number 1. Platypus Eggs The adorable platypus is a mammal found only in Australia. The bizarre combination creature is a duck-billed, beaver-tailed, otter-footed, egg-laying aquatic mammal that practically enjoy laughing at all scientific explanations of these animals and their categorization. If its chimera-like appearance somehow fails to impress you, the male of the species is also one of the world's few venomous mammals in existence. They have sharp stingers located on the heels of its back feet where it can deliver a strong toxic back kick to any approaching predator or challenger. As you know, mammals don't typically lay eggs. That category is reserved for other species of animals. The female platypus lays her eggs in an underground burrow that she digs near the water's edge. Baby platypuses hatch after just 10 days, but nurse for up to 4 months before it's time for mom to teach them how to swim. When born, they're nothing but squishy little creatures that need mama for every necessity of life. The creatures of the world truly are astounding in many ways. Some even are incredible just in the way they're born. Who knew so many otherworldly methods of birth existed right here on planet Earth? The best part is we've never lived in a more exciting time to see and capture it all for the world to share and enjoy. We all grow smarter from the endeavor. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.